All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles, alright, so we're back with another video, I do understand it's been a week since I've posted, but as you know, things aren't as easy as I would like them to be at the moment, but they're definitely getting a lot better, and um, yeah, things are starting to work out, so, but anyway, we're back, and um, so I thought I'd answer a couple of questions on my next few videos before I start pumping out some war stories, and um, so there's some good ones here, so over the next few days i'll be pumping out some questions what you guys have asked over the last couple of weeks i've been a bit slack on answering them but as you guys know i do like making some videos out of the questions that you guys have asked so i will do that but um yeah so today i am gonna do a question it's not really a question it's it's more of a statement and i thought that you know it, it would really make for a good video because it's the absolute truth and um I just thought it was really good of this guy to say that because it's absolutely true and it's definitely going to make for a good video. So I'll get into it. So I guess, um, yeah, so Daniel Gonzalez-YP7HI says the rug dealers, so add a D to that, that's what that means. So the rug dealers who get locked up have a weird reality check on the outside they were the man literally had other crims begging them for tick and stuff then all of a sudden they are not the man and have no leverage the same would go for the crims who are playing the game on the inside getting into fights and doing okay maybe a yard boss um then they get out and nobody cares and nobody gives them the same respect they had inside it's a lot of mind games so I mean, this is so true and I've made like mention of this in other videos that I made before and um, so I guess, you know, I, I also say this in a lot of videos too. I say, you know, everyone who goes to prison is just another bare bum in the shower and I absolutely plagiarise that off the Chopper movie but it's so true and it's what people have been saying in prison for a long time and um, so – you know, it, it, it is a big reality check, but the, but the funny thing is, like, I, I think, like, what, what I will say is that these people, um, like, d d definitely get a reality check when they come to prison because, like, you know, as it said in the, in the video, in the question, that, um, you know, when they're on the outside, they've got a lot of leverage. They have so many people looking up to them. You know, you've got all your little lackeys doing your running around, this and that. You're making big money. You know, you might have nice cars, you might have nice bike, nice girls, this and that. And then and then all of a sudden, um, if you're not a snitch, you'll get locked up. And, um, and then when you go there, you will get a very, very, very unhealthy reality check if you think that for one minute you can run around on the inside of a prison playing the same games that you play on the outside. Because I'll just tell you right now, so like, for myself, like, it, it's very disrespectful and I think, like, and and I've had to check a lot of people in this same scenario because, um, you know, they they do think that that, that it's going to be the same on the inside and, and that, you know, because they had all the criminals on the outside looking up to them and, and basically, you know, because they're, they're a slave to their drug addiction, that, that they will do absolutely anything for these people and... Um, um, you know, it, it's the absolute truth. And, um, so when they, when they, they come in there, they think that they can start throwing around orders and tell them, you know, seasoned veterans in the game that, that this is what's going to happen. And this is, this is how it's going to go and stuff like that. And so like, I've literally had to check a few people myself in this scenario. Cause like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit there. Like say, for instance, like just say like on my big sentence, right? So if, if, if I've been in there for a few years and and very settled in my environment and some dickhead's going to come along and think that because he was a somebody on the outside he's going to start telling me what to do or, or or whatever and i've actually had this same scenario where i've checked you know some pretty well-known names and um because and i'm not the only one who's going to do this let's get this straight like 80 percent of them men that are in there are not going to listen to a damn word that anyone says at all and it doesn't matter who you are on the outside there is there's you know it 
it's different in prison, you know, and the same rules do not impl- apply in prison. And sometimes, you know, y- you get these people that come through and, like I said, think that they can start barking orders and stuff like that. And I'd like to, like, tell you some stories, but I can't say names and stuff like that. But I have been in scenarios where big names have come in and, you know, thought that they had a bit of a name in prison because maybe – some of the people that they were dealing with outside are in that same prison and, and you know, maybe them same people, you know, are still maybe, you know, doing things on the inside like with drugs and stuff like that and maybe have a bit of sway or whatnot. But here's the truth. I couldn't give a shit who you are on the outside and what you've done. I couldn't care. I couldn't care if you're the most high-rated person on the Underbelly series or if you're the most lowest rating person in the gutter in your community, I couldn't give a shit. If you disrespect me, you're going to find out the hard way. And the truth is I'm not the only one who does this. And so, like I said, 80% of people are going to be in the same boat as me and they're not going to stand for somebody who basically hasn't put any work in, I will say, in prison. Like, you know, you might be a big person on the outside, but unless you're laying people out on the inside, no one's going to respect you for that, what you did on the outside. And that's the truth. And that's the sad reality of the scenario that you will find yourself in if if you think that you're going to come into prison and start dictating what people should and should not do. Because I can tell you right now that, you know, I, I say this all the time. So in society, 1% of – so 99% of people are normal and 1% of people are crazy and will do serious things to, to get their point across. It's the total opposite in prison. So 99% of people in prison will hurt you to get their point across and the 1% won't. And I think the lines are not blurred at all. So, like, that's exactly how it's going to be forever too. And, and you know, like I said in that question that – you know, these same people that, that are maybe like, like let's flip the script here. So, you know, if somebody's putting in work on the inside and, you know, maybe doing all right, you know, with their, their girl might be kicking in, as they said, rugs with the D and, and, you know, might, might, might be a bit of a somebody and, and have a bit of leverage inside, you know, may have laid a few people out, whatnot, but, you know, when they get out and, and you see this so much and I've seen this, so so much so that the 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 prison world is very very small and and you know um i'm not sure the amount of prisoners that the victorian prison system holds but i know it's under ten thousand, and and not all of them people come back all the time but a lot of these people are recidivists so what that means is you know they're they're continually offending and coming back to prison and a lot of them offend just to come back to prison because they live better in prison and and i see it a lot so the prison world is very small so you can go out in melbourne i don't live in melbourne i used to live in melbourne but if you go out in melbourne in the city i can't even think of a time where i've went to melbourne once in the last since i've done my big one i'll say so 2019 where i have not run into at least one person that i had been to prison in and i've literally run into so many and here's i always run into people who were a somebody in prison you know looking the the, the part you know they're all buffed out they're, they're smashing the gym every day they're training hard they're eating properly you know they may be taking um rugs every day but you know that not many people um so although yeah they might be taking rugs every day in prison but you're never ever going to get to that 100 percent junkie status like people get on the outside it's just not going to happen like that like don't get me wrong people do do the rugs on the daily but you're never ever they're never ever going to get to that same level of junkie status as you can get on the outside and so i've seen it so many times like i remember um you know in the early days when i used to catch the train to work i used to live in cranbourne and i used to catch a train into coburg and i used to run into not in the mornings but on the way home i used to run into people all the time on the train and um 
and it was a little bit sad for me and it was really hard for me at the start to figure out, you know, I used to think, man, these guys have got such big names in jail, like literally laying people out on the daily, got that much respect. They've got the screws, you know, working for them basically and then all of a sudden they get out and they don't have the um facilities to 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 keep that kind of thing going you know what i mean it's easier on so most times people that are running these rugs in the prison they're not bringing them themselves they're standing over other people that are doing that and things like that and and so it's a very small world inside the prison too and and that way it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot different in the sense that, you know, um, how do I put this across? So, you know, it's just a lot different and it's a lot easier for these people to get that stature in prison because it's so small. Like, let's face it, you know, well, Port Phillip holds under 1,100 people. So, you know, and that's one of the biggest prisons in Victoria. And so, you know, that's a very small amount of people to be – the power over whereas on the outside there's so many people no one gives a shit who you were on the inside and the truth is these people absolutely fall victim straight back into being a slave to the the rugs that they are taking and therefore they will do whatever they will be nice to people that are being nasty to them like playing god with the the rugs or whatnot and and it's just not the same and like for me it was really hard for me to figure out because i remember the first few times i ran into people that were like really big names on the outside and then i would see them um, really big names on the inside and then i would see them on the outside like absolutely boned out to the max and and their minds gone as well and you know that they're, they're they're jumping at their own shadow you know what i mean they're that paranoid they're that cooked and they're just not the same person and i think that daniel gonzalez that was a really good thing to, to put across because i think it's you know it's a really for the people that are interested in this genre of stuff like it's a really important thing for people to know you know the people who are somebody on the outside are nobodies on the inside and the people who are somebody's on the inside are nobodies on the outside and like the statement question whatever you want to say comment um stated it, it's absolute mind games and it is and like it's it was mind games for me and i was seeing it and i was like it just was really hard for me to understand how that person was so strong minded so strong willed and like was not scared of nothing and then on the outside you know they're jumping at their own shadow they're that paranoid they're that cooked and and yeah, I just I just thought that that was a really really good comment, and I thought that it would make a good video and and just let people know that 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 that's the that's the reality of the situation. And unfortunately, you know, you you, you really people really don't see it the other way around. You know, people coming from prison being a somebody and then going on the outside being a nobody. But a lot of people see drug dealers and whatnot in their community. You know, they probably scare a few people and, and whatnot. But it's absolutely different on um on the inside and you know they absolutely don't get me wrong there are big names that are big names on the outside and come inside and absolutely run amok on the inside and have the same respect and fear that they do on the outside but it's a rarity i'm not gonna lie and um yeah so well there you go guys i thought that that would make a good video and um so we're back into it again and like like i said in my last videos like don't stress i'm never gonna stop posting um just going for a bit of a rough time at the moment we've literally only just set my computer up and um so i am staying with my beautiful partner at the moment jess and um you know i just want to take the time to say that i absolutely wouldn't be here making this video right now if it wasn't for jess and not just somewhere to stay but like i mean like kept me like you know i you know i made that video how i made the decision to get out of the last house i was in because i was going to get in trouble and whatnot and and absolutely couldn't have made that choice um without jess and i just want to you know put that across that that you know it's it's very important for me to put that across how how you know i absolutely couldn't be where i am right now without my beautiful partner and um you know i absolutely love her guts and um yeah i just thought i'd chuck that on there and let you guys know that yeah i wouldn't be here today posting this had it not be for her so thank you jess and um yeah so well there you go guys um there's another video and um 
like I say in my other videos, guys, if you've got any questions that you want me to ask, just smash it down in the comment section and I will do my utmost best to make a video about it. And um, I, I do answer all my comments, guys. I have been a bit slack the last few weeks because I've been a bit up and down with where I was staying and stuff like that, but we're back into it. And, um, yeah, like I said, if you've got anything you want to know about prison or even just about my life or any of the things I've posted about. If you've got questions, smash it in the comment section. That's the best way to get across to me. And, um, yeah, I'll do my utmost best to answer that with a video. Um, but, yeah, um, also, if you haven't subscribed, jump up there and smash that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell icon right next to it, you'll never miss one of my clips. And um, also, I have memberships. Although I haven't posted a members-only video um, in a few weeks, um, we do have memberships. And so a lot of people ask, like, how does that help you? So it absolutely just helps my page to grow, helps helps the Chaos Chronicles to, to do bigger and better things. And, um, and yeah, it just helps support my cause and um for all of those who have bought a membership thank you very much i really appreciate that and for all the comments that i haven't answered um yeah hang in there i will get to you and um yeah thank you guys for tuning in i have been the chaos chronicles you've been absolutely awesome and um yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. But, yeah, if you've got anything you want want to ask me or you want me to do a video, smash it down in there and I will do my best to answer that. I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You've been awesome. We out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.